gonna be honest I'm kind of scared to film this video because I love this brand from the bottom of my heart I am the dairy milk queen I love Cadbury's I freaked out the other day when I got a big huge parcel of Cadbury things so yeah I have had this brand on my mind for a long time so today we are gonna redesign the Cadbury dairy milk package so i've looked online and i'll show you in a second there have been various evolutions various changes of the dairy milk packaging um and i'm basically just going to base it off of this one because it's the one i have and i might just have to sample the chocolate along the way let's call it quality control definitely stick around until the end of this video i'm going to talk to you a little bit about this week's video sponsor they've got a little mention i've been testing out some products and i want to rave about them with you guys so i will talk about that at the end right wish me luck i'm kind of scared and i'm hoping this chocolate doesn't melt because it's very hot in england right now my windows are open i've got a fan on apologies for all the background noise i have been doing a little bit of research and i found a little bit of history about cadbury's by the looks of it it was made in 1824 and you can kind of see here whoo, wow i love my fast internet you can see here that the logos have sort of evolved over time they went from quite blocky um and then slowly we're getting into more sort of like a handwritten font and then apparently this was their first logo which confuses me because aren't the other things logos don't know I'm not sure where they got the tree from but okay we'll give it we'll give it that and then they actually went on to a script logo which is what it looks like to me now like that's where the logo I look at now and the logo I've grown up with it's looked like this to me and it's based off of William Cadbury's signature which is quite cool I like that I didn't know that until I did this research and now it's sort of in this sort of area um they've made it quite blocky which i do like i'm not really going to fiddle with the logo at all I, I can't bring myself to fiddling with it not gonna lie we're gonna look at the packaging today and recently they had it changed again um back to sort of more the original one which i thought was quite interesting it's had a lot of criticisms when i looked at a few articles because a lot of people say it says cadbury rather than cadbury like this looks like a w and I get it, it does look like Cabui, but the one before it sort of does as well, <laughs> so I don't know. But apparently they paid like millions of pounds or whatever to rebrand and it basically looks like the old one, so people are angry. Each to their own, I've got other things to be angry about to be honest. Alright, enough talking, let's just get straight to it. So this is my little illustrator setup for now. I've gone with the same sort of layout that Kel Lauren does for her redesign videos. I love her a lot. I learn from her. She's a professional. She's great. I found her videos very soothing. I will leave her link in the description. But yeah, this is the little mood board I've sort of come up with. I pinned these all on my Pinterest board and then just exported them out. I want to go with something that's a little bit sort of, I don't know if retro is the word, but sort of like blocky, bold colours, big fonts, um, I like this Tony's brand. I quite like this sort of textured retro-y style thing. Maybe this with the font in the, in the centre. We'll just see how it goes. This is the evolution of the logo and the dairy milk bars themselves. So you can kind of see where the dairy milk chocolate bar has sort of changed over time it sort of had banners and then they've completely ditched the banner and then on the one i have obviously it doesn't have a banner at all but i do want to bring that banner back i feel like we can make that look quite cool so we will give it a go it's been five minutes and my laptop is already wanting to explode so first things first i'm going to attempt to download which i should have already done a png file of the cabri logo if not we will image trace it and i think i want the old one you know i'm not sure how i feel about the new one let's try and image trace this okay that's all right i mean it's messy and i could tidy it up but i'm also too lazy and it's not really important right now so we'll just leave it at that if you are enjoying this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our little creative family I'm using a combination of my mouse and my Wacom tablet, by the way. I will leave both linked in the description. I am a huge fan of this mouse. Okay, so we have the Cadbury logo. What I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the size of a chocolate bar 
from a mock-up that I've downloaded and we'll just work to that size. I'm not going to go off the actual Cadbury size. I am going to do a banner. I am going to see sort of how it's going to look. Um, and then warp it. We're going to go object, envelope, distort, warp and we're gonna do a little rise yes this is what i wanted just a little bit of summit summit you know obviously i'll mask the edges color wise i can't go away from the og purple can i like that purple is the one again we're copying my fave kel lauren's method of using the little swatch square things we're gonna pick up some colors so i think maybe actually no maybe definitely the purple i want like a bold like not gold like orangey because purple and orange work well together so maybe we can pick up like an orange from over here a bit bit much a bit more yellow maybe this one i can vibe with that although it might risk looking like orange chocolate rather than just dairy milk um and then maybe the yellow like the golden yellow color maybe it looks a bit mucky maybe like that yeah i like that and then a final color is this white or is it cream is it just plain white it's plain white okay so maybe i'll just bump it to be a little bit cream colored and that could be like foiled i don't love it but we'll just leave it at that otherwise i'll just fiddle this is about where i stopped with my planning in my head let's just quickly mask this little banner so i can see where it would look you know what why am i not just doing this on an artboard so let's do it like that because my brain doesn't work <laughs> so this background color do not like i've made it gray for now so maybe this is where we can switch it up so i'm thinking i mean this could risk just looking exactly like the other one but we'll give it a go so change the background to the original purple i can't bring myself to change in the color of that and then maybe bring the banner into the white all right so now i'm gonna write dairy milk on it see when they did the banner previously the dairy milk sort of mimicked the shape like it sort of follows along with the banner um and it has done for the past couple of decades um but i think i'm gonna just get away from that i don't love this new font you know this dairy milk font maybe it's just because i'm such an og fan but i think we could just make it a bit more blocky a bit more retro I'm gonna keep using that word um we'll go on to adobe fonts and we'll just see what i can find between the sound of my fan and the sound of my laptop i really hope that my microphone um, is picking my voice up. Also, I've just spotted a huge spider in my office. You can stay over there, my friend. Oh my God, it's moving. I'm not here for it. I'm just gonna look away. Let's just grab those fonts. Pretty sure I had five. So we have our Pona. No, did I not download you? <laughs> Brief interlude. I just spent half an hour, maybe more, trying to um, work out why my fonts weren't activating in adobe uninstalled everything reinstalled everything signed out signed back in then went onto twitter and realized it was an adobe problem not an alice problem and then right as i gave up and decided to use a different website for my fonts they activated so that was a great waste of my life <laughs> <sighs> trying to breathe trying to process we got there in the end so straight up don't like this one goodbye also don't like the top two I think I like the A in this one because it has a cool little flicky thing. <laughs> Definitely got a technical name. I don't know it. And also like this one because the L has a flicky thing and the A has a matching one. Kind of the vibes that it is, but different. So yeah, we're going to get rid of these. They're too like angular. Don't want that. I'm swaying towards this top one. The main reason I downloaded the bottom one was because I liked the L. So what I'm thinking is i'm gonna split the word up possibly i mean i might hate the idea once i've done it but 
we're all about experimentation here. Actually, maybe have this banner in the gold colour. I might change that. I feel like I'm going to change that. And then have dairy milk in white. Maybe if we split the words. Increasingly do not like the colour of the banner that I've gone for. So maybe I do stick with dairy milk in white. Maybe I need this gold colour to be less yellow. This colour is quite cool. And then maybe yellow. Mm, I quite like. I don't hate it. So let's strip it right back. Let's go with that in this colour. Okay, that looks much better already. And then dairy milk written. Gonna have to try some different variations for this dairy milk. And maybe we could incorporate the little pouring of milk thing. All right, we switched it up completely. I have sort of taken inspiration from this chocolate bar here because I wasn't feeling the banner, you know? Even though right at the beginning, I really wanted the banner. I like that it's not white, like pure white. It's sort of off-white, which I guess is what milk would be. I'm gonna play around with the logo a little bit, but I think I wanna incorporate the milk pouring thing you know, it's like two glasses of milk, whatever it is. I think I'm gonna incorporate that. So let's see if I can find that graphic online. If not, I'll just image trace it from somewhere. Okay, cool, we can deal. I just need to fix the top bit. Do you know what? The ice cream man is getting very inventive with the songs it uses. perfect but it will do that'll do donkey that'll do right we're gonna add this over here to be honest i'm not doing anything miraculous over here am i i'm just sort of rejigging what already exists but seeing what that looks like Ooh, maybe we could like pour it into the d and the b this is very basic but i kind of like it they've got a little additional coco life brand in there and then some information about the chocolate bar but other than that, there's nothing on the front of this one. And maybe like this at the top, but you won't be able to see that. I can smell this. This is definitely melting. I need to take this back downstairs out of my very warm office. Be right back. I have rescued my chocolate bar. It is in a nice cool cupboard. I can't put chocolate bars in the fridge. I'm not a chocolate bar fridge kind of person. Some crazy people put them in the freezer. Not quite sure what's going on there. Let me know what you do. Okay, so I had a thought whether I have just completely copied what they already did with this little milk pourry thing. Um, looking on the very limited resources I downloaded myself, it doesn't look like they've done this before, like pouring it into the B and the D. They've poured it into like a line, they've poured it into like the eye here, I guess, and then this box. You know, they've done a different variation of it, but they've never poured it directly into the logo probably for very good reason probably because they don't want to mess with the logo but that is apparently what I'm gonna do the only thing is I don't know how I'm gonna sort of integrate the gold and the white of the milk but you know can you see where I'm going with it like if I bring this to the front sort of pours into the logo maybe we could add like a stroke on the outside of the logo that's white and it's sort of that's the milk. I don't like that, but I want to incorporate that somehow. Yeah, we definitely don't need the white behind the logo because it's detracting from the contrast of the purple, I think. This one is horrible. I don't know why I wanted to do that weird banner. Or, okay, just roll with me here. Let's copy this down and let's sort of combine an idea they've done. So, we're gonna pour the milk into a banner at the bottom and then go from there. <laughs> Okay, 
I really like this layout I've gone with so far. I'm going to just neaten up this bit of milk at the bottom. I feel like it's a bit too high up. So I created it in a clipping mask. So I'm just going to double click. I thought I'd just show you this. So in here, I want to adjust the angle, but there are a lot of anchor points because I just hand drew it with the blob brush. Um, but I can go into object and path and I can simplify it. Um, and basically it just tidies it up a little bit and the less anchor points the smoother it is so if I take it down you see you've seen you can see that it's reduced the amount and you can sort of pick so in here now I just need to pick up these few anchor points to adjust it rather than having like loads um, okay so I'll go back out of the clipping mask and I did want it to sort of touch the letters maybe so maybe i'll keep these in white i'm like torn between using the sort of cream color i went with or the white previously they've always used white by the looks of it i like the placement of this text i'm sure not everyone would agree but i like how this is sort of mimicking the y i just need to figure out what i want to do with this bit at the bottom i'm gonna just duplicate it for now so i don't ruin so i don't ruin it um but maybe if i outline no nope, type create outlines Wow, we love a very loud plane. And what I'm gonna do is extend this down. I don't like it. <laughs> nope. Okay, I undid that. I'm okay with that. The D looks really far away from the A. Play around with that quickly. So I want to get it so the D and the M are aligned. So maybe we can reduce the width of the A. I'm going to do it in this way. Let's see how these align up. I'm not going to do it perfectly because I can't be bothered. I'm the kind of person that needs to like sleep on things and then look at it again later. So the very nature of this video means I can't do that. We're just going to have to roll with it. Um, right, the one thing I'm not sure on is the fact that I have kept Cabri logo on top of white. Don't really know how to fix that without changing the entire design. Maybe it doesn't need to be as big as I think it does. I don't know. Okay, we'll just leave that for now. I'm going to go and get the little Fair Trade Cocoa logo and some nutritional information stuff. Wow, my laptop's stuck. Okay, don't touch it. No, it crashed. I really hope Auto Recover has saved something. Come on, babes, don't let me down. Yes, it saved it. In reflection, whilst I was waiting for my laptop to stop having a meltdown, I have decided I'm going to move the milk splodge thing, this, whatever this is, back down a little bit. I don't like that it's interfering with the Dairy Milk logo. Bring down the milk drug things milk jugs i'm really i don't want to have the logo over the over the white but i'm sort of stuck as to where to put it eh, i'm just gonna leave you there right when i pasted the fair trade thing in that's when everything went crazy hopefully it doesn't happen this time progress has been made um i've been fiddling about for a little bit and i think i've come to something i really like so i'm incorporating the banner idea i've still got the big blocky font um it is really different to the ones that they go with now i've just mixed it up i'm going the other way i changed the tracking on some of the letters um and i've I think I found a place for the logo. I can change the size a bit, but I thought I could just add an outline or a stroke to the outside of the logo. See, there's probably some rule somewhere where you can't like ruin the logo, and I'm probably breaking that rule. But it's a good job I don't actually design for Cadbury, so it doesn't matter. Maybe I'll just blob brush it. We're just gonna cheat because 
my laptop's not having a good time. Move that behind. You know, so you can still see that the logo's above it and you can still see the milk's pouring. Okay, cool, I like that. Right, I think one more thing I might do, we'll see what it looks like, is add a little like texture thing in the background. Um, I know the new design agency that they used start, sort of did a, it's not holographic, like some kind of pattern in the background, let me show you. Can you see like it's sort of holographic? I like this vibe where there's sort of a pattern in the background. Quite like this thing. Maybe I could just steal this thing. We could spend ages drawing it myself. Or we could just pinch it. You know, just to get the idea. I'm not taking credit for it. Um, and we can make this into a pattern. So I'm just gonna arrange it. Object, pattern, make. That'll do. <laughs> the most basic pattern ever. I should probably neaten this up but um, I can do a video about patterns if you want me to but for the sake of this video I ain't gonna bother and what we're gonna do is put it in the background so you see you see where I'm going with it see if I did like a proper pattern I could put like little pretty things in the middle I want to change the opacity and there we go I quite like that it's subtle if I could be bothered we'd add extra things in the pattern um I'm saying this now but I actually want to do that all right we've changed the pattern we've added the little dairy milk logo and the milk pouring thing. I am most definitely copying the idea of the brand that have just redesigned them, but I really like that idea. So I can see why they went for it. I've just been talking to you and realized the camera wasn't recording. So I'm gonna go mop this up. I have downloaded a mock-up like I mentioned earlier. Um, and I've also just purchased one from Creative Market because I decided don't be tight, buy one, it'll look better. So that's what we've done. I will leave a link to those in the description. Now to quickly talk a little bit about the mouse and keyboard that I have been testing and using. And I am impressed, very impressed. So thank you so much to Logitech for giving me this opportunity and sponsoring this little section of the video. I've been testing this mouse and keyboard now for I think coming up to three weeks. And I didn't really think much of it initially, I just thought it was just going to be a mouse and a keyboard, but I am completely converted. This mouse and keyboard have officially earned a permanent place on my desk, which I can assure you I didn't think was going to happen. There are many reasons I love these, but the main one which really converted me was the fact that this mouse lets me customise the buttons according to different applications. So basically all you do is download the Logitech Options app and in there you can customise the different buttons of the mouse according to what you want to use them for. So if you watched a video I did a couple of weeks ago, you'll have seen that I was editing a vlog and I changed the side buttons to allow me to delete clips and it's just really sped up my productivity. And the same with the keyboard, you can customise the different options on it and within the Logitech Options app, it remembers what customizations you have for which applications. You can also pair them between different computers just by a click of a switch. So if you work on different screens or say you're taking the mouse with you to your office, you can just click a button on it and it automatically pairs with a different computer. It works across Windows, Mac and Linux. They really have thought of everything when designing this. It has been designed especially for creatives and engineered for coders. So it has been designed with people like me in mind. And I'm guessing people like you because that's why you're watching this video. So yeah, I definitely recommend checking these products out. I have nothing but rave reviews to say. Um, really like that the keyboard has a backlight on it so when I'm in my office working late at night I can still see what I'm doing. The battery life on both are very impressive. I've not yet had to charge either of them up and I always forget to turn them off so that is very good. But yeah I'm very much geeking out about it. I don't know if you can tell but if you are in the market for a really really top of the range mouse and keyboard that is genuinely gonna make you more productive it's honestly streamlined my workflow so much more and like I said these have earned a permanent place on my desk and I'm very picky so that is a compliment within itself. I'm getting overexcited again basically the link will be in the description. Definitely recommend checking them out and let's get back to the video. Okay. 
there we have it i think i'm pretty happy with that i'm sure i'll probably go to bed and wake up tomorrow and just be annoyed and want to fiddle with it all but we're gonna leave it we're gonna leave it there i think it's along the lines of what i wanted in the first place but sort of tying in the branding of cadbury's originally mixing it up with something a little bit more modern a bit bolder i don't know we'll see you might hate it but i think it's quite cool so there we have it that is it for another redesigning video as i say not a professional just doing it for a little bit of fun so yeah if you aren't already subscribed to my channel please do click that subscribe button join my little creative family uh thanks so much don't forget to check out logitech's mx master series i will leave the link to that in the description and yeah Thanks for the love and I'll see you next week.